My name is William Banks Blaney and I'm the founder of William Vintage. Gianni Versace's Spring 1991 collection was a really extraordinary moment. As always, it was opulent and joyous, but perhaps more than any collection, it really made you question the difference between art and fashion. The whole language was about the cult of celebrity, seen in a really witty, different way and with a massive injection of 1960s glam. The Vogue raincoat from that collection is one of my favourite pieces. It's got such incredible iconography all over it with some really historic reference points and it's just innately Gianni Versace. The Spring Summer 1992 collection was extraordinarily Italianate. It was a Baroque animalia fantasy and picked up everything from seashell designs to wild animal prints. My favourite piece from this collection is a very important dress and it's an ivory silk digitally printed with the most fantastic print of coral shells and seashells. A little bit 50s perhaps in its shaping and that very Italian Gianni Versace love of a real woman's body. It's just a dynamic beautiful dress. The Autumn Winter 1992 collection for Gianni Versace was a real pivotal moment in fashion. Its formal name was Miss s &M. It's known largely as the Bondage Collection. And at the time, it polarised people. It made so many people outraged. And paraphrasing the man himself, he loved it because he felt that half of Manhattan was wearing a harness. And in 1992, that was a really big deal. It's still a big deal now for all of its stud work and its harnesses and its straps. It was about a woman owning herself, about being strong, but my favourite would have to be the harness dress. It's very racy, it's probably the boldest LBD you will ever see. But what I love most about it is that in its cutout work and its reveal, it's actually making the wearer and your skin part of the language of decoration. And that again to me is such a Gianni commentary on fashion. The Spring Summer 1993 collection had a huge focus on Miami. It was his home in America. It was a city that he loved. It's about life and it's about joy and it's about living and he harnessed that in this collection because it was really dear to his heart and the collection's incredibly playful. My standout piece is a pair of jeans. They might just be brushed cotton but they are one of the most iconic things he ever created and they're covered with the hotels of Miami in the 50s and 60s, Cadillacs, Pontiacs and written quite elegantly across the crotch is the word Miami. One of the most famous collections was the Spring Summer 1994, known as Punk. It's impossible to talk about that collection without referencing the safety pin dress worn by Elizabeth Hurley. That has become probably the most famous dress in the world. And it's such a racy, intelligent collection because again, he had two very different inspiration points. On the one hand, the punk movement of London in the 1970s. But the other part of that collection was actually about him looking at how saris caressed the wearer. He was looking at traditional Indian dress and how silk would move against the body. My favourite is the skirt suit. It's made in a black cotton which is deliberately rumpled and creased. It's sliced and cut away in all the right places. So the whole thing is this lesson in Italian tailoring, London urbanity, and seen through the eyes of this creative genius. Mm -hmm.